applause for uh, Secretary Pete Ron, who's doing a great job as our transportation secretary. Yeah, we, we, we tell them we want great projects, and we also want to get them done as quickly as possible, not only just for good value. So we, I put the pressure on these guys to make things happen, and he somehow manages to get it done. So we appreciate everybody being here this afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, there's one uh, special dignitary that uh, Pete didn't know about that I'm going to introduce, and that's uh, my much better half, the beautiful First Lady of Maryland. My wife Yumi is back here. I, uh, we don't usually get her out to press conferences, so we're happy to have her. Um, we want to thank all of you for being here today. Uh, it's a beautiful day, and uh, we're anxious to uh, get on with announcing a couple things I think you'll be interested in. Uh, you know, our administration uh, is, it, we are, and we will continue to be, uh, fully committed to improving Maryland's transportation infrastructure. And the fact is that you can't talk about long-term transportation needs without discussing our state's iconic Chesapeake Bay Bridge, which you see here behind me. Whether you live in areas close to the bridge and travel to and from the eastern shore for work, whether you're a farmer, a vacationer, a business owner, Marylanders from all across the state depend on being able to cross the Chesapeake Bay. On a typical summer Sunday, 96,000 vehicles cross these dual lanes. And by the year 2040, that number could jump by more than 30%. It's no secret that traffic backs up along Route 50 during peak hours and during the summer months. Hours that could be spent with your family or at work or doing things you enjoy are instead spent stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. Last year, the Maryland Transportation Authority completed its Bay Bridge life cycle cost analysis, which revealed that the existing Bay Bridge spans can be safely maintained through preservation and maintenance until the year 2065. But the reality is that there is simply too much traffic and that in the years to come, it will continue to get worse. The analysis indicates that by 2040, daily backups in the eastbound direction could extend up to 13 miles during the summer months, and westbound backups could extend up to 14 miles. As governor, I believe that working to keep traffic flowing safely and efficiently into the future is an important priority. That is why today I am pleased to announce that at my direction the Maryland Transportation Authority will begin a Tier 1 National Environmental Policy Act or NEPA study this fall. The Tier 1 study is the first phase of a full NEPA study and it will allow us to narrow down the options and identify the potential location for a new Chesapeake Bay crossing and to explore the potential financing options. It will include traffic, engineering, and environmental analysis, cost per mile estimates, and procurement options, as well as economic and land use studies. We will seek the input from the counties and from the environmental regulatory agencies, and we will actively engage Marylanders by providing plenty of opportunities for public input throughout the process. This study will cost $5 million and is expected to take up to 48 months to complete. But it is the first critical step needed in order to move forward on addressing the long-range issue of future traffic congestion on the Bay Bridge. So that's issue number one today, but today I'm also excited to announce another bit of news for Maryland drivers. Uh, we're going to, in just a moment, unveil brand new Maryland license plates. Uh, you would be hard pressed to find another state in the union that has more pride than our great state of Maryland. We love our sports teams, we love our crabs, 
and we definitely love our beautiful state flag. I think it's hands down the best flag in the entire country. Earlier this year, uh, we launched our newly redesigned state-of-the-art Maryland-themed driver's licenses using our beautiful flag for inspiration. Now, Marylanders will have yet another way to show their state pride with our new Maryland Proud standard issue license plate. These license plates will replace the uh, current War of 1812 plates and will be available to Maryland drivers beginning Monday, September 26. Using the Maryland flag colors was my idea and I even got the opportunity to personally get involved in the design process. I want to thank Secretary Ron and the entire team at MDOT for all their great efforts to try to make this happen. And now, uh, with all of your help, I would like to have you join me and help with the countdown and we can get this unveiling underway. So let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, they made it so tough you can't pull it off. And uh, we have a, a real version of it here, Maryland Proud. And this is my own personal plate. I'm going to get the troopers to put on the truck open for business. How about that? Is that it? Governor, and then uh, for any of the history folks. They wrap these things pretty tight. Man. I you just do a tug and it comes down. Talk about practical design, so we did not need that much tape on this thing. So this is the history of the Maryland plate. And you can see from its beginning to now where it's ended, it has gotten better looking as it went and is gorgeous with the governor's design. So hey, Travis, you think that's the best looking license plate you ever had in there? 